cherubim and seraphim falling down before thee who was and is and evermore shall be holy 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 though the darkness hide thee though the eye may blind my sin thy glory may not see only thou art holy there is none beside thee perfect in power in purity holy 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 lord god almighty all thy works shall praise thy name in earth and sky and sea holy holy In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Hello and welcome to St. Isaac Jogues for this weekend liturgy. As we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we are called to be salt and light, to live out our baptismal calling. So we ask God for the pardon for the ways that we have not fulfilled that commitment. We pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Now let us join the angels and saints in the heavenly liturgy in praising God. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, highest and, and on earth, earth peace to people, people of, of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you, you we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You, you are, are seated, seated at the right hand of the Father. Have, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, share your bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homeless, Clothe the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst, oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. 
Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. The, the just, just man is a light, light in darkness, darkness to, to the, the upright. upright. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance and evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. The, the just, just man is of light, light in darkness, darkness to, to the, the upright. upright. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His justice, his justice shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. The, the just, just man is a light, light in darkness, darkness to, to the, the upright. upright. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory right. to you, O Lord. Jesus, excuse me. Jesus said to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world, a city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set rather on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. On one occasion, outside the temple, which was all lit up with torches, Jesus declared, I am the light of the world. Today, Jesus tells us that you, you and I, are the light of the world. As Israel was a light to the nations, we, the church, are a light to the world. We drew our light from the baptismal paschal candle, which you can see here at the left, to my left. At baptism, we prayed this prayer for parents and godparents. Parents and godparents, this light is to be entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly so that your children enlightened by Christ may walk always as children of the light. Candles are very important at baptism, on the Feast of the Presentation, which we celebrate on February 2nd, and of course at the Easter Vigil. The Paschal candle symbolizes Christ, and he is the source of our light for our, our tiny little candles, which can dispel the darkness of the world. 
We are light and salt when we put God's word into action. Isaiah tells us what to do. Feed the hungry, shelter the homeless, clothe the naked, comfort the afflicted. And we Catholics, Christians, have added others to this list, which we call the spiritual and corporal works of mercy. To be light and salt, that is what we do. That is who we are. A second way to be light and salt is to live the Beatitudes. It's no coincidence that this gospel passage we just heard follows upon the Beatitudes as part of the Sermon on the Mount. They show what God looks like in the world, and we have to be a sign of God's presence. To recall, to refresh your memory from last week, the Beatitudes, being poor in spirit, mourning, and we mourn for this mother in Memphis who lost her son so brutally. Mercy, in Memphis we saw a lack of mercy when, he, when Ty Tyree was beaten to death. To, clean of, to be clean of heart, to be a peacemaker, this is what makes God visible in the world. That is our task if we are to be light and salt. We are not to hide these good works or to take credit for them. But they make God visible to the world. And Paul reminds us in the second reading, it is his power that enables us. So the glory belongs to God. We praise him and our actions show glory to God that we might make him known in the world. At this time, let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, life everlasting. Amen. This time, let us offer our universal prayer for the world, the church, and our own particular needs. For the church, that we may be light to our world, and that our words and deeds may be instruments of healing and transformation for our society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For members of the diocese, that our faith will guide our participation in the issues of society, so that the gospel values may open new possibilities for the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For a conversion of heart, that God will help us recognize the social impact of sin and guide our efforts to heal our society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are ill, that God will restore the sick and give strength to all health care workers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For all who have died, that the light of God's love may lead them into the joy of God's presence forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Good and gracious God, we bring these petitions and needs. We ask you to hear them and grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen.
God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, become our bread of life. Mystery of this water and wine, we will come to share in the unity of Christ, humbled himself to share in our humanity. So you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual. Please pray then that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, name for, our for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up, up to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, all, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. So with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall. They may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up, for you. Similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, especially where it is persecuted or divided. Bring her to the fullness of charity and unity, together with Francis, the Bishop of Rome, Peter, our Bishop, the Bishop of Rapid City, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. And so at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, especially all violence. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope, second coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but upon the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity, accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lamb of, of God, God, you take away the sin, sin of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Receive the body, blood, not for your judgment, condemnation, protection, and healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, worthy not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only say, say the word, the word and so my soul shall be healed. healed. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be consoled. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall have their fill. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
And the Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Why?